Hey guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more candy trying. Yeah, and this week our box is from Finland. Yes, which is super exciting because neither of us have ever been to Finland or tried anything or from Finland. Or not knowingly tried anything yeah. from Finland. It's hard to know because in the Swedish video, some people said, oh, that's from Finland or that's from oh, Denmark. Yeah. or yeah, I remember people saying that actually yeah. because those are the countries that yeah. surround Finland. Yeah, and what type of countries are they, Kate? What do you mean? Scandinavia. Oh, Scandinavia. <laughs> <laughs> do let us know in the comments box down below if you're from Finland or if you've ever been before. Yeah, or if you've ever finished anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're an utter. Anyway, should we start with the letter? Yeah. Yes, I'm drinking from a real glass this week. <laughs> Although no, people still say this is a vase. People think this is a, a flower vase, but it's actually not. It's just a... I don't know why it's that shape. It's just a fancy And glass. I'm drinking from a massive um, strong bone. <laughs> <laughs> Black fruits, is it? Mm. Oh, they're like cider. Cyrus. Or Cyrus. Anyway, so we had the, had this box for quite a while. So we have actually got a postcard. Oh, it's which not that in long. It, she put the date at the top. <laughs> yeah, which in it says, this card is drawn by Mary Kunis. Is that how you say it? Yeah. A Finnish writer and draftsman. It says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> so and that might give you an idea of when we got this box. But how <laughs> lovely are those like characters? Yeah, they're so nice. They're so cute. Very nice. And then we have a little letter that says, Hi Kate and Alex, my name is Jenny and I'm currently from Finland. Did you want to read What? That? She's currently from Finland. <laughs> I've read that from there. So hi Kate and Alex, my name is Jenny and I'm from Finland. I live in a small town called Merikato? Yeah, could Have be. I butchered that? In, in Western, Western Finland. Finland. I am currently writing this letter to you while I am at work watching over youths. How oh, cool. I've been watching your channel at YouTube and I like your videos. One night at work while I was watching your tasting videos, I've noticed that you have tasted candies from Sweden and Russia, but not from Finland. So I decided that I'd have to do something about it. Box I sent you has some savoury treats and some sweet treats. I hope you enjoy it. And then she said, should we start from savoury? And I like that. Yeah. You obviously watch our videos she and knows. she has um, broken up from savoury then sweet and she's written something about each thing. Oh, that's nice. So we can go through it and go in her order. So would you like to try pronounce that first one? Yeah. Linkosu Rusipisi. And then Linkosu Rye Crisps. Yeah. Oh, they, they look, look nice. so good. Feel that bag. It feels like a good quality bag. I love the green and the purple. These are dried pieces of rye bread seasoned with sour cream and onion. These are one of my favorites. You can eat these with cream cheese, some dipping sauce, or just plain. I love things like this. Are they like little bowls almost? Yeah, they are, look. Oh my <laughs> God, I was not expecting them to be that big. You could make little canapes. And like she says, with well, cream cheese. Well, that's what cheese. they've done here. They've got like oh, cream yeah. cheese, cucumber. Oh, do you know what would be good in there? Hummus. Mmm. Or a bit tatsiki. Oh, that's good flavour. It's so loud though when you're crunching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My ears are like... A couple? Mm -hmm. oh. They're very plain, but they've got a lovely garlicky and herby flavour. Have you ever had... Mm. I think this is what they're called. Melba toast. Mm. Have you ever had Melba toast? This is what that like texture is. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. You would think these are slightly healthy, right, compared to normal crisps. Yeah. They're delicious. I because would... I think these are almost, in a way, like a replacement for bread. Yeah. So you make like these little things. Little crackers. Themselves. What are you giving those? Nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. I almost went ten, but then I was like, And mate. you were like, they're not truffle crisps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but they are delicious. Tafel Broadway. Mm. Sour cream and onion flavoured potato chips. Taffel makes most of our chips in Finland. So this is kind of like a Walkers and a Lay's. Of course, we have some other companies as well, but not as good as Taffel. I noticed that you, Kate, like sour cream and onion. So I put this little bag in for you to taste. I love sour cream and onion. That's so one of your favourites, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got some nacho cheese balls. Nacho flavoured cheese balls. These are one of my favourite savoury snacks. They are little addictive, so I always end up eating the whole bag. You're not alone. <laughs> these have gone really flat. <laughs> really flat, yeah, these are kind of safe. So these are the sour cream and onion flavoured potato chips. Oh. They're amazing. They're, they're quite a strong onion flavour, like our cheese and onion mm. in England. So I really like that. 
Like it's lighter on the sour cream and mm. stronger on the onion, isn't it? And this is why I didn't want to give those a 10 because yes, they're amazing. Mm. But you know, real- But they're not these. Mm. And they're a ruffle. So good. I think they, for me, have to be a 10 out of 10. Mm. 10 out of 10. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Okay, nacho cheese balls. These are one of Jenny's favorite savory snacks. Oh, you can't have them. Why? They're nacho cheese balls. <laughs> Good cheesy smell. What yeah, do you think? Smell. Mm. These are like um, a completely different cheese taste. Mm. Almost like buttery. Mm. These are like... Um, you know that American buttery powder yeah. you've got? From Liz and the Girls. Mm. The Amish buttered popcorn mm. salt. Mm. This is amazing. This mm, almost so tastes yeah. more like um, when we've been in Europe on holiday, like when we were younger and... Mm. Mm, this cheese is amazing. So good. No wonder you eat the whole bag. Amazing. They're really good. What are you giving those? 10. They're a 10 as 10 well. 10 out of 10, yeah. The six. These are the original potato chips salted with a garlic dip. No, so she's saying she would eat these with a garlic dip. Oh. These with garlic dip is a love heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, we get um, like sour cream and chive in dip pots and uh, mm. thingy and onion. So these are just salted. Yeah, but really good. Mmm. These are like the ones you bring home from Lanzarote. Mmm. You we probably want... should have tried these first. I know, I was thinking that actually. They're the most original flavour. But, but they are really good. They still stand up. The ruffles on those. Mmm. The ruffles on those. <laughs> the ruffles on your skirt. Mm. Cute. Kate's such an old lady, she's got a uh, a half dressing gown. It's a gown half there. dressing gown. I'm a Hugh Hefner. <laughs> it's a smoking jacket. <laughs> Um, wow, those ruffle, those ones. Are the girls are outside by the grotto. <laughs> <laughs> My girls, Bob and Penny. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are some of the best salted potato chips mm -hmm. we've had. They call it potato chips as well. We call it chips, uh, crisps, how funny. Okay, so she's put, do you want to read that? So there were the savoury snacks. Did you like? We did. We really we like liked. you. I myself actually like more savoury snacks than sweets. Next, there is two packs of biscuits. Sorry, I forgot to buy my favorite ones, but these are good too. Faza. 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 Are they there? Fausu Pala. Oh no. Is yeah. That there? Fausu Pala original. Toffee flavored wafer biscuits covered with milk chocolate. Yum. Are they those? Yeah. They are bite sized wafer biscuits. These are real famous sweet treats, usually on birthdays or parties. You can have these on many different flavours, including double chocolate, mint, dime, Ooh. and salty caramel. And then Domino. the next one is Domino. That's nice. nice really packaging, nice isn't? packaging. Is it saying much on it? I can't. Oh my god. Things smell so good. Now look on the front. Have they got like marshmallow in, or is this the vanilla she's talking about? Whoa! That's so cute. Cheers. It's like a. Looks like a nutty buddy. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Now this is the type of wafer I like. What, covered in chocolate and mm -hmm. caramel? Sometimes wafer's just a bit too drying. <laughs> Need something else. Right, I'm not telling anyone about these. No. Mmm. Mmm. That chocolate on it, do you want to open that? Mm. Jeez, I mean, I'm going to sit and enjoy this. Do you want to read that next one? <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10. <sighs> well, this one, the Domino, is a dark cacao cookies with tasty vanilla filling. Original Domino are a true classic in Finland. Domino's have different flavour variations too. Peppermint, raspberry yoghurt, cardamom, mm. ooh, gingerbread and chocolate covered Domino's. There is also summer and winter variation packs. Summer packs has toffee, lemon yoghurt and raspberry yoghurt flavours. Winter oh pack word. has tiramisu, cardamom and original Domino's. I don't think I'd like the cardamom but the tiramisu no. would be ooh, cool. It's like an Oreo. Oh, it's like an Oreo. If you are going to Finland anytime soon, 100% you have to buy these. Mm. Also, I was thinking that's going to be really dark because she said dark cacao, but it doesn't look like dark chocolate. Really, no. It's good, but this is better. Mm. 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 I think because we're so um, used to Oreos now, the flavour of that biscuit's a little weird. People often ask, what is one of the favourite things you've had out of all the boxes? Mm. I'd say that's a real high contender there. Mm. Wow. It's very good. Now we could continue on tasting different chocolate bars. The company called Phaser also makes all of these I sent you. Same company that makes the biscuits. So the biscuit, it's like Cadbury's oh, yeah. having biscuits. So Kismet, should we get like three out? Yeah, Kismet, King Size and Geisha, I think we should go for. Kismet. Kismet. 
Yeah, that looks cool. So this again looks quite wafery. Yeah, so this is a chocolate wafer. The sweet. It's funny that this has been classed as a biscuit. But oh, it's yeah. kind of wafery. And then this is also kind of wafery. The sweet, crispy, kismet chocolate wafer has been charming fins. Is that what you call yeah. yourself? Fins, that's really cute. Since 1974. It's so good that you cannot say it. There are a couple different flavors of kismet, including Omar, coffee toffee, cream toffee, marin, marine, Mariana. Pe peppermint, and fazerina. Mmm. Mm. Very good. It's good because there's like a. Um, a chocolate cream running through it. I love wafer chocolate. Want to finish that? Show them that. Oh, it's a 10 out of 10. Really? Mm, so See, because know. those first wafers are so incredible, mm. they're more like an eight and a half for me. Is it for by me, the same company? Yeah. For me, that's just as good, even though there's like the less in there. The chocolate tastes different in there. I think it's for just because you can taste the chocolate more, mm. whereas you taste the toffee here. What's that's next? So King size. This is it's a big chocolate humongous. bar. It's Like, put our heads together. It's wider. <laughs> Wider than like one of our heads. Is this working? No, yeah, sure. It was you need working. to do like that. No, but I was like, it's a whole nother head oh, in right. between. It's Holly in the middle. It's Holly in the middle. <laughs> Holly's a king size. Oh, I was not thinking this. Milk chocolate and almonds with cocoa nougat filling. Tuplet is my favourite chocolate bar. It's a bit we like don't a really Mars say cocoa, then. and it's got a tray. And it's got bumpy bits on the outside. That must be the almond. Yeah, I guess so. We don't get trays in England. Nougat filling, is it good? Mmm. Mmm. I love nougat. That's so good. You kind of expect there to be a layer of caramel, mm. but I'm not but mad. It's not needed. Mm. It would be amazing with it. Mmm. Mm. It's and a those... nine or a 10. I think I'm going 10. I don't think it's quite as good as the wafer, but it's so good. Really? Mm. Oh, that's so much better than the wafer. That is insane. And those, those almonds don't like annoy me at all. Well, chocolate around the outside. That's is so up there nice. with those all those Reese's bars we tried that I love. I feel like Mars bar could do one with like the almonds on mm, the outside. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be amazing. But then would that be too much like Snickers? No, because peanuts such a different flavour. I know, it? but I feel like they like to stick. Whereas in America they do all those almond ones and hazelnut yeah, ones. Whereas in England like. they don't. They just stick to the main things. Do you want to read this out? Geisha is a milk chocolate with soft hazelnut filling. Savour the deliciously crunchy hazelnut filling within this coating of rich milk chocolate. I think this has to be one of the prettiest bars yeah, of chocolate nice, I have okay. ever seen. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. Mm. What's that remind me of? A Kinder Bueno. Mmm. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I thought it was something else, but I guess so. Um, it has like little crunchy bits. Mm. A bit like praline. Mmm. It's nice. It's like it reminds you of a like Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. That's nice, because we don't have a bar like that here. Mm. You can get Ferrero Rocher's and you can get Kinder Bueno, but you can't get like a chocolate yeah, bar. Yeah, no. I'm not the biggest fan of hazelnut. Hazelnut. But I love Kinder Buenos and this so is like delicious. Mm. It's literally like a Kinder Bueno, but without the like wafery yeah. edge. Wow. That's really good, isn't it? That's really good. I, I don't think it's good as the ones we've just tried. No. So I'll give it an eight. I'm giving but that an eight. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. I love how the next few, these are all my, made by Phaser but they've all got different names. Whereas this next couple have like phaser in the name. So this is a phaserina. Don't you just think that packaging is awesome? Like look at the polka dots on the ends mm. and the stripe. And of... the stripe and the gold. And also, yeah, this is a phaser mint. And this is a cull phaser. It's and like, like a person. like we've said about um, different languages, certain languages, this language, Finnish, mm -hmm. looks like they've just used all the letters of the alphabet. Really? Oh my word, yeah. <laughs> It's just like just A, B, C, added, D. Added oh, two my Fs word. where you don't And they've need... written English at the end. What's that say? Milk orange with orange truffle filling. Oh, a classic that has been around for decades. It's always a charming chocolate delicacy. Don't you just like the way she writes mm. things? Like, really... Yeah. It's like she works for Phaser. Yeah. Because she's, like, really given it. She's given the words, mm. like m &S. The orange truffle filling combined with the exquisite milk chocolate will take you on a tasty trip down memory lane. Mm. Have you written this yourself? That? Yes. <laughs> like she's really given mm. us a whole feel. Marketing spiel. Mm. Oh, that's so um, good. Jay's gonna love this. Mum. Mata, muta. My mm. muta. Probably gonna save any for her. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm really liking your chocolate. That's so, yeah, the chocolate is good. Mm -hmm. I think that is a 10 out of 10. It tastes like Terry's chocolate orange. It's a nine out of 10 for me. So good. And I really like the branding on this mm -hmm. as well. The kind of silvery pack with the green. It almost looks like um, astronaut text. Yeah. 
like from the future or something. Oh, and that, that this like is a, a bit like a... After eight. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's really liquid. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's so good. I wouldn't usually take a second bite of a mint chocolate, but do you not think that mint tastes more spearminty? Yeah, I think it's really good. Mm. All right, should we go for the white chocolate first? Oh, it's made from real peppermint oil. Oh, I good. could see you like can an really oil tell, in can't there. You? Should we go the milk chocolate first? Mm -hmm. So this is Carl Faser. I wonder who he was. Maybe that was the name of the maker. Chocolate count line was a classic. Perfect, with a cup of coffee. Isn't that funny? I read that and I thought it was going to be tea. Yeah, so... <laughs> Do you guys drink more coffee in Finland? Speaking of... Coffee? No, tea. No, it's probably more like um, in um, Sweden. Sweden because they drink a lot of coffee, don't they? That's very nice. Anyway, it's milk chocolate. I quite like that. I mean, white chocolate. Right. Mm. That's got a really lovely flavour. Mm. It's like a um, an adult's version of Kinder. Mm. Yeah, that little thin Kinder, bar. Kinder, lots of people like Kinder but can't eat much because it's quite sweet. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So then I think the milk chocolate is going to be really good, isn't it? You're going to love it, yeah. Because we've had it on all that other stuff. Since 1891. So I wonder if his name is Carl, mm. who made it. Mm. I prefer the milk and white. Oh, the milk is so good. I like the milk, but I like the combo. Oh, how interesting. So we've been saying phaser, and this says Finnish pronunciation is fatsa. Oh, fatsa. how funny. Because their fatsa. Z is obviously. Is one of the largest corporations in the Finnish food industry. The company was founded by Carl Faser, Fassa, Fassa, as we Fassa. said, in 1891. That's quite a while ago. As a French Russian confectionery in central Helsinki. Today it employs over 10,000 people across Finland, Sweden, Russia, Denmark, Norway, the Baltic countries, yeah. and Japan. Its products are exported to over 40 countries. I wonder why Japan? Because all those other countries are surrounded. Yeah, but Japan's not that far away. Right? No. So, this is how you say hi in Finland. Finnish. Hey. Hey. H E I. <laughs> That's the only one to hey. do. It's basically <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> I say hey. And you know, I was saying they might have loads of flavours. Jenny's written here. Carl Fazza. How do you say Fatza. it? Fatza. Fatza. Bars has tons of different flavours, like coconut milk chocolate, Ooh. popcorn milk chocolate, and the list goes on. There is still a couple more. Oh, right, we still haven't finished. So we've got some more fa faz there. Should we get these four yeah, out? Yeah, we've got Jim. We've got oh, Leonardo Jim, DiCaprio. Jim was at the front. We've got Sue Feli. Oh, their branding is so just cool. awesome. Anything else? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, here. De Capo. Patkis. And Patkis. De Capo, you're looking for. De Capo. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, I get what you're saying now. This looks like a 60s TV show yes. kind of intro. I like it. Classic Finnish chocolate bar created in 1966. The chocolate of a Safeli bar coats a crispy wafer and caramel filling. You guys in Europe do have so much wafer. I don't think we I'm have so that much. Excited. I think no. it's more the We only have time. We out. only have we only have wafer in the UK because... Ooh, is this stuff only going to be like that Fousey? Maybe. But I definitely think we only really have wafer here because we have Polish things here yeah. and like... Oh, Kit Kat's wafer. Oh, yeah. But there's not, not like many these, things. Ooh. Oh, my word. Yeah, is. That's like a grab With a caramel. I don't think that had caramel in now. It just said original. Oh, oh toffee. Mmm. So good. I was thinking that was going to be really chewy. Mmm. Have you seen this gym one? Chocolate bar. Jim Chocolate Bar has charmed people since 1958. So that's even before this. Yeah, this familiar treat is a combination of dark chocolate and fruity whipped finish. I was not expecting that. I was thinking more like a caramel. That's really nice. It's really good, isn't but, it? But um, if you've ever I had a caramel tonics. tonics. Oh, we have oh, tonics. Oh, it is a bit like tonics. We do have more wafer things than we think. Oh, my word. <laughs> a what bit flavor? like that chocolate banana bar. Oh, my word, yeah. I thought this was going to be like a mm. chunk. Oh, my word. It's like banana. It's very like summer fruity. Like tangy, yeah. Wow. I probably, um, if I lived in Finland, wouldn't pick this. No. But like... I'd definitely pick it's this. It's so cool. So interesting, that flavour. Their shelves at the shop must be so like colourful. Yeah. What's De Capo saying? Ooh. It kind of is like Leonardo DiCaprio. Dark chocolate with rum flavoured truffle mm. filling. 
De Capo takes its name from the musical term De Capo, which means again from the beginning. This chocolate went on sale as early as 1916 and was Faz Fats's first chocolate mm. count line. Mm, interesting. It's chewy. Yeah, because right. it's with the alcohol, so it's a bit off. We don't really have anything like that. Mm. But it is good. I can appreciate back in 1916, mm. that'd be such a treat. Yeah. I feel like people used to drink more back then, do you know what I mean? Is that just like, <laughs> <laughs> like in all the movies? Yeah. I'm not sure if they just glorify it in movies or people really did drink that much. It did seem like they drank a lot. <clears throat> or whether when people do films now, they're just like, yeah, stroll over there, have a drink. Have a whiskey. They always sit down after a long, hard day at work and they'll both have a whiskey each. Yeah. Like you and me. <laughs> we just like sit here, have a whiskey. How often have we ever sat down and had a whiskey? <laughs> Never. So I recently went to um, Brazil mm. and Dallas and I met um, a Japanese lady called Ai. What flavor were you expecting that to be? Not mint. It's mint, yeah. Truff mint truffle sweet. Mm. And I and from Japan really nice. It's really nice. and Courtney from America mm. said that whiskey is their like top drink. Really? Because I always find it so funny in American programs when you see these young women drinking whiskey and I'm always yeah. like, that's just so not realistic. It's so strong. But actually, Courtney and I both said that they'd like whiskey really? and they have it with like a tonic or a, something oh, like that. With it. like a soda, not like, right? Uh, whiskey is massive in Japan. Japan have now really? become like one of the biggest makers oh of whiskey. Oh my word. It's I actually, actually quite really like good, that. Cause there's a bit of chew to it, isn't mm. there? Really that mint's nice. really nice. Okay, what are you giving all of these? This is a 10. This is like a seven, that's kind of weird. <laughs> this is an eight, that's really good. And this again is like a seven. This is a nine for me. This is an eight. I actually quite really? enjoyed that flavor. And surprisingly, this being mint is a seven. Mm. And then this is probably just like a five. <laughs> but that's because I'm not a big alcohol and chocolate person. Hope you like those chocolates. Next, there is a couple of things you should taste. I like the um, narration. It's yeah. like, Jenny, you're here. Oh, we're on to licorice. Right. One, two, three, four, five licorice things to try. All sorts. Five licorice all sorts to try. Let's get a hands up in the comments with those emojis if you are a licorice lover. So which is first on the list? These the ones, panda the natural. panda. It's like a, a, a chop of a stick of licorice, isn't it? Yeah. So this is... Um, Pure licorice. A soft delicacy with only four ingredients. I just love panda's licorice. Hope you like it too. Sorry, Jenny, if we don't. <laughs> what are the four ingredients are? Uh, does it say on the front there? Because it says something about oh, four Oh wait, in English, here we go. It's got molasses, wheat flour, licorice extract, and natural flavorings, and a seed oil. And these are vegetarian, vegetarian and vegan, vegan no, no additives, additives, no preservatives, natural colors and flavors, less than 0.5% fat. Cheers. Here we go. Oh, that's actually really good. Mm. All right, it's good actually. I probably couldn't have more than that, mm. but, mm. That initial flavor is really nice. Mm. And I really appreciate people who enjoy licorice because yeah. I feel like it would be so great to chew on. Yeah. But to me, it's such a strong, bold flavor that I'm not used to. But I our dad like loves licorice, so he'll be loving Because I remember for bag. a while I was having, sometimes You're have having, blackstrap yeah. molasses and that's a bit like that. Is that so. I wonder if it's like got you into it mm. more. So soft licorice with taste of blueberry and raspberry filling. Oh, this is cool. Oh. It kind it's of like is a stick like, um... with a hole in with some. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's so good. It's like um quite wet, isn't it? That reminds mm. me of a yogurt we used to have as children. Yeah. A little putty falloos or something. Mm. That's actually mm. really good. Mm. I could get down with that. I was gonna say. When there's an added flavor, mm. that's when I can enjoy licorice more. Mm, so I was gonna say, these as part of like licorice all sorts would be so good. Yeah, because like, then the other you're flavors. having a, Yeah, do you, does anyone else get licorice all sorts? Yeah, I think so, wouldn't they? That is so good, blueberry That's on really that. good, yeah. This is the Turkish pe pepper. Turkish pepper licorice is a combination of soft licorice and feisty Turkish pepper mix, whatever that What's is. What's that, yeah. What are you Ty featuring? Tyrkish. Oh, what's this one? Oh! Wait for it. I'm waiting. It almost like um. Kicks you in the mouth. Yeah. It like really made my face go like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like um quite salty, isn't it? And. Mmm. Oh, tastes like I've been at the dentist. 
Mm. Oh, wow. Not the biggest fan of that, but I no. feel like, you know how much we love this? Yeah. There are probably people out there who absolutely love that one. Yeah, I'd imagine so. The old car one now. Oh, this, yeah. And then Sao Miyaki. This is cool. Because this is shaped like a little car. Yeah. So what's this say? So Miyak Sweet in the shape of an old car, one of my favourites. Oh my word, I wonder how hard it is. Oh, very hard. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, it, it just amazes me that oh. that is one of Jenny's favourites. So it really is what you've grown up it's on. It's like a cross between toothpaste and... And salt. Yeah, and salt. Table salt. Well, speaking of salt, this oh, next yeah, one... Oh yeah, I've been in the water and... No, it's like I swallow like, too much salt yeah. in the water. Well, this one here is Salty Licorice Sweets. Original finish Salmiac since 1960. Like the last one, one of my favourites too. Oh, they're so tiny. They're like the um, the violet ones we had. Okay, at first, and then they got really strong. <laughs> you know, what if it? <laughs> what is that flavour? <laughs> Salty licorice. I think I have discovered that salty licorice is not for me. Oh, no, no. I mean, no disrespect. I no can disrespect appreciate everyone enjoying that saltiness because I love salty snacks and that. Yeah, but not that level of salt. It, it's almost like my body is almost rejecting it because you know how <laughs> the back of your tongue is meant to stop when you have like poisonous yeah. and things. It's almost like or my. If you like to try and drink sea salt, you can't. Yeah, it's like my body telling me that's too much salt yeah. or something. It seems so salty to me. Are we going to do the moon and <clears throat> fruit candies yes. now? Yes. So hopefully these are a flavors. bit nicer. Mix of four fruity flavours. Strawberry, pomegranate, orange mm. and pear. These candies are want? like small Moomin characters. And these two remind me of my childhood. Well, that's good. Mmm. The texture's really nice. Mm. I thought these were going to be so hard. No. And how funny pomegranate. Mmm. Nice though. Isn't it? Like usually that's strawberry or raspberry. Mmm. Mmm, pomegranate. I wonder why they, they shape them like Mormons. Mormons. <laughs> well, I can definitely get behind these. These and this. And this. I'm quite empty. This and the car. No, thank you. Wow. Mm. I'm actually giving them like mm, a really nine and a half out of ten. They're not actually licorice though, are they, those ones? No, I don't think They're say just anything. like sweets, aren't they? These really remind me of the ones we oh, had yeah, in, these um, are just fruit candy. in Swedish candy. They were like monkeys. The Moomins live in Moomin Valley, surrounded by mountains, forests, and the sea. The perfect background and inspiration for fantastic adventures. I wonder if this the is Moomins a TV, a TV show. show. Must be, mustn't they? Yeah. Now, what about Finlandia candy? Have you seen that? Cloudberry. Cloudberry, whatever that is. Cloud, cloudberry sweets. These I have not tried yet myself, but I love cloudberry, so I think they taste lovely. Ooh, these are so... Wow! Look at the lovely colour of I've them. I've never heard really of cloudberry. Squidgy. Cloudberry, these are not... But I love cloudberry, I've never... I have never heard of cloudberry. Hmm. Whoa, they're like, um... Jelly. So there are these... Hmm. They almost take, um... Taste like the eucalyptus drops at the end. Hmm. They're almost From a bit Australia. minty as well. There's actually know. a thing called... Cloudberry extract. I might look up e what cloudberry looks 40. like. Because Jenny says she likes cloudberry, but I've never heard of cloudberry. Maybe it's like with the unicorns and that. Cloudberry is a plant. Rubus chamaruus is a rhizomatous herb native to cool temperature regions, alpine and arctic tundra. Tundra. And boreal forest, producing amber colored edible fruit similar to Ooh. the raspberry or blackberry. Cloudberry. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Never heard or seen that. Never heard Do you or get seen cloudberry that. in your country? Look, it's like a raspberry. Wow. Interesting. I like the initial taste, but I didn't like the aftertaste. Oh, I enjoyed the whole taste. Interesting. Like very, almost like elderflower. Elderflower. Very light kind of, flavour. Yeah. Okay, and then we've only got a few more things. Salmon, there. almond, Ooh. sea salt, soft toffee. Oh, is that what mm. it is? This looks really good. And this is handmade 1984. Look at that. Is that really good? Wow. Mm. Super rich toffee and smell is amazing. Sadly, I did not taste sea salt so much. What do you think? Mm, not really sea salt. No. I think it is there. I can. But the reason I don't think you can taste sea salt is because you're <laughs> used to this. 
I wonder. Oh no, that is. Because yeah. personally, when I eat mm. that, I think it tastes quite sea salty. Mm. It's not um, Russell Stover sea salt. Yeah. That was too much. It is that. But sea salt is definitely there, and I kind of feel like because you really like salty licorice, that might be why you can't taste mm. it. Definitely. Mm. That's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. It's an eight out of ten for me. I think we've had better toffee. I love that. But it is good. The chew is real delicious. Good. The chew is real. Yeah, we're on to Panda Lumiuko Snowman. Oh, here. Oh, Snowman. I put a couple of these small sweets. Wrapper has a picture of Snowman. These sweets are white chocolates with blueberry milk truffle filling. Whoa. Combination of white chocolate and blueberry is heaven. These Thank sweets are available at Christmas. Even though you were saying white chocolate, I was expecting it to be milk and then mm. on my own. It's got like a, a purple filling. Yeah, it's blueberry, isn't it? Yeah, but for some reason, a lot of companies make it blue, you know. Do you know what this kind of tastes like? What? When we were sent the huckleberry hot cocoa. Jam. A little sickly sweet. Mm. Often when people say to me, oh, if I open a box of chocolates, I can only have one or two. Mm. I'm like, what on earth are you on about? How can you only just have one or two? But I feel like if we had these at home, I would just have one or two. Yeah. A bit too sweet, but very nice. And then finally, two things left. We've got Panda N. Kelly Nougat. And is that her? Angel Nougat. N. Kelly. Yeah. These small bars are also available at Christmas. They're soft nougat covered with milk chocolate. And last but not least is the Exumia. <laughs> Exlimax. Ex Moomin. Strawberry and peach, raspberry flavored Extillo pastels. How cool. I love strawberry, peach, and raspberry. Right, should we try her first? Yeah. Now, if this is anything like the, um, the King thing, Max, I'll be happy. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mmm, that's even more like Mars Bar Nougat, isn't it? No. no? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> the look of it, mm. but the taste not so much. We've had something like that. Mmm. Mmm, it almost tastes like an ice cream. Yeah. The chocolate's quite sweet, isn't it? I much prefer the... Um, it almost tastes like chocolate sauce. Flat. Yeah. Ooh. It's like the ice cream sauce when you're like having a mm. sundae or something. Oh my god. These are like mini, mini Mentos. Yeah, really tiny, aren't they? Mm, super cute. Tiny Mentos. We got one of each flavour. Want to try? Yes, please. Oh. They're hard. They're crunchy, yeah. Mm. Mm. They um, have a cooling effect. Yeah, very Does cool. Does your though. mouth not feel mm, really cold? Really cool. I like those flavours. I do wish they were chewy, though. Really? Do you not think? I wish I had a bit more chew, yeah. Because mm. it's like crack and then it's like powdery. Yeah. It might be better if you suck on them. Whoa! Let's give that a go. Well, while you do that, I'm going to give these another go. Yeah, please do. <laughs> wow. Right, I've got a new thing I think we should do at the end of each video. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's called, if you could only take one, which would it be? Do you know what? I thought I'd pick a crisp, but... I'm going to this. That's like, I thought I'd pick a crisp. But I'm gonna pick these. I thought you would. These Fasu Pala Original by Fatsa. Now, if this is what your snacks are like, yeah. just picture being in the country mm. and having fresh food. Those cheese balls are so good, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Have a couple of these. They must be good because Alex isn't even doing the two finger finch. <laughs> two finger pinch. Uh, the two finger pinch. Finger pinch. The two finger pinch. I just thought we've probably been butchering the names of things, haven't we? Oh, you've only just thought that. No, I thought before when you were saying about the fast factor or something. But I've been thinking it the whole way. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. Right, that was amazing, wasn't that it? That was so good. We always say because we get so many American boxes, we want to do a tour around America. Yeah. But I'm thinking we need to do a tour. Sweden, Finland. I think they would be really cool countries to like go to around go. because, especially if you went, because they can be like cold. If you went like wintry time, it'd be like snowy. Yeah. Well, and it says they're about um, and... very well known for skiing. Oh yeah, I bet. I would like to ski one time. It would be cool. Maybe to, we like... could do a food slash ski trip. Mm. Oh, she's put at the end. Oh, so cool. I hope you enjoyed all savoury and sweet treats I sent you. Have a nice holidays, and I hope to see much more tasting videos from you. With love, Jenny. Cheers, Jenny. Thank you so much, Jenny. You've I, been so kind. I've been blown away by how good your mm. um, snacks, snacks and are. treats are. 
They're absolutely nice. delicious, both savory and sweet. Yeah. You got some really good chocolate in Finland. Mm. So thank you so much for sending us that. Of course, we'd like to say thank you and send you a British candy box back. If anyone else would like to get a British candy box, we'll leave a link down below for you. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I loved it. Did you? I absolutely love that and hopefully we can go soon or we can try some yeah. more soon. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.